Hello and welcome to all of the very best coverage from the 18th edition of the LAX Open. My name is Tim Ward and I'm very excited to bring you all of the best action. Let's do slope style, men and women. We also have Jenny Jones out there. Jenny, how is it going? Hey Tim, yes, it is hot and sunny here in LAX. Uh, it's been like that the last few days, but we don't think it's affecting the slope style course and they're all clearing the jumps fine, which is great. Also worth noting that COVID measures are in place and those athletes are in their own separate bubble. So, talking about the athletes, let's hear from them and how their week has been going here at the LAX Open. This is maybe my first LAX Open where the weather is really good for the whole week, so I'm so excited. I am feeling phenomenal, actually. I can tell you, I want to give it my all this year again. I'm feeling really blessed to be here. The course is amazing. They did a really good job. I can't wait to compete in it. The course here in Locks, it's so good. Super creative. Definitely a bit challenging this year, which is good. It'll separate a lot of the riders. I've never hit a quarter bike before in a slope style, so that's going to be a challenge. But at the same time, it's very progressing. After last week, after my second place at the Mammoth World Cup, uh, I feel pretty confident for this World Cup as well. Especially like Lax is always, I always feel good riding in Lax. It's always nice coming back to Lax. The park and the view is like always one of the best out there. So yeah, it's, it's good to be back. Qualified in second place. It went all right. I'm glad I put one on my feet. I know that I have to step up my run, and yeah, I'm excited. I'm, this course is so fun to ride, and I'm excited to like hopefully show some doubles tomorrow and like put some more difficulty, especially in the race, because that's where I was a little bit struggling today. Anagas has got room to improve. Has Tess Cody got room to improve? There's not a lot separating them. Let's talk about Marcus Cleveland. You can't not talk about Marcus Cleveland, can you? He, he actually is the rider's rider. And on his day, he's unstoppable. But surprisingly, he's never won here in Lax. The first run went as planned. Then you can, like, basically either chill or go for a, a better one on the second run. I was supposed to chill when I was at the drop-in for the second run, but as soon as I dropped in, I was like, yeah, I just gotta try and do my best run. But I didn't land it though. But I'm still in the finals, so I'm happy. And then one person that's really impressed you, you're very excited about this guy, Tian Collins. I'm stoked to land the first run. I just wanted to put something down and make it through and I thought I was pretty safe after that first run so tried to step it up and that worked out even better so yeah, stoked. Right then, moments away from the women taking to the start gate. Before we get things underway, let's head back to checking with Jenny Jones. Jenny, what's the vibe like? Tim, the vibe is amazing right now. It's almost like spring conditions, the athletes have said, so they really like it. On the landings, it's nice and slushy. Hopefully it stays that way because I've definitely seen some bigger tricks going down from the athletes. Uh, also noticed that on the quarter pipe, people are getting a lot more of a handle on that. So hopefully we'll see some different things on there. Had a quick word with Anna Gasser and she said, do you know what, Jenny, I think it's either I'm going for the win or I'm going to come last. So maybe something big is going to happen from Anna. Who knows? Well, let's take a look at the start list then for the women. Annika Morgan from Germany. Really nice. Two and a half rotation going upside down twice. Great run. Her first ever podium at the Larks Open. 
It's Anagasa, so solid, through the rail. Switch rail slide with the 270 out. Cab double under, hold on to it. Second place. Nine to tens was the standard here and Okay, I don't think I've ever seen it. Of course, it was a perfect day, a perfect course, and everyone was feeling it. So it was so fun to ride and like to be part of it. So Tess Cody with a victory lap here. You've got it all done on run number one, showing you just why she's the champion. Oh, frontside double 1080! What a run. Women snowboarding is in a very good place. And here are your official results. An 86 on that final run. And I think we should be able to hear from Tess Cody now. I'm stoked, but I know this event means so much to me, so it's like super sick. Like the other events will come when they come, but it's just so sick to be here right now. Strap yourselves in. It's time for the finals of the Lax Open Men Slope Style. Let's get through Jake Cantor, the youngster out of Evergreen, Colorado. We finally get to see this boy in the air. Into the backside, 14, triple. He's finally coming back to form, 74, 76. Oh, Jake Cantor. Oh my God. Starley Sandback, one of the most stylish snowboarders in the world, looking for a podium here. Well, the speed is there. Can he put this down now? Yes, he can. What has he got? Just hold on here. Oh, my goodness. Starley Sandback. Oh, second place. All eyes back to the top then for our next rider, Sean Fitzsimmons. Oh, huge. Into the backside triple. And he had so much time in the air. What a run. It is good. Oh, it's an 80.9 straight into first place. And here are your official results. What an incredible slope style men's final we've had here. And we can hear from the winner now. It's incredible. Like with Stale, like, I mean, I've looked up to him since I was a grom. It's insane. Like, and you're just like with all your friends, but you're also just amazed every time you watch them ride. It's pretty, it's pretty cool dynamic. I've been watching this event for since I was like nine years old. So it's pretty surreal to be on the podium with one of my best friends and then also Stale. Like, it's just insane. The atmosphere down here in the finals has been incredible. How's the standard of the women's with all those doubles in the finals? Uh, great riding from the women. And then the men's, the two youngsters on the podium with their idol as well in second place. That's just amazing. The atmosphere, everyone's been cheering loads of warmth and the sunshine's you know out there it's just been great